the other thing is, uh, you know that uh, Mitch Clisby plays his first AFL game for the Melbourne Footy Club boys, so well done, Mitch. <laughs> when I spoke to Mitch yesterday, he said, um, he said a range of things, but he said, thanks for giving me the opportunity. And my comment back to Mitch is, I didn't give him anything, boys. Mitch earned the opportunity. He earned it by his performances and underlying performances on game day at Casey. That means this, when he goes to, when he's playing at Casey, he's playing with a really positive, aggressive mindset about where he wants to go. He puts a performance on the board, not just one, and an, an expectation, well, that will be enough to get me picked on a consistently high basis. So he puts in, he then actually picks himself in, in reality. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether he's a rookie or on the AFM, it doesn't matter, boys. Performance uh, is, is a very powerful weapon to have. On top of that, you've got a system starting to develop a Casey that allows guys to actually play at their maximum if they choose to do that. So the way Rowan's going about his work is fantastic. And I think it's also a great reflection of what you're doing, Mitch, in terms of Jay. And, and Nico and the rest of the guys in that defensive group with the way that you've come through there. So well done and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to you, to you playing tomorrow. Okay, here we've got the presentation. Yeah, firstly on behalf of the players, Chris, congratulations. Um, I know a bit about your journey, it's been a long one for you to come from Broken Hill and go through the SNFL and progress with the ranks like that. But um, we really can't fault you since you've got to the club. And um, as Craigie sort of said just then, you've been probably one of the most, if not the most consistent performer at the club um, this year. And it's a real credit to your attitude. And sometimes you've had to learn the hard way, but um, you've really earned your spot. And um, these opportunities don't come up easily. You've been constantly banging at the door. And, um, through your work at Casey and um, as Craigie said he sort of had to pick you because of the weight of the performances that you've put forward and I guess from a player's point of view all we expect from you tomorrow is to you know in your role within the team lock away your defend your, um, the forward that you're playing on but then really provide that run that you're so good at play to your strengths we you know you provide a lot of speed your skills and your decision making so all we ask for as your teammates is to really bring that and no matter how many times you miss a kick or miss a handball, we just want you to keep going with the game because that's what you're really good at. And um, you'll make us a much better team for it. So once again, congratulations from all the boys and um, really hope you've got a bright future for the club. So. Yeah, I'd just like to thank um, the Melbourne Footy Club um, for giving me the opportunity in December to come here. To the coaching staff, especially Tweet and Bongo, for all your guidance and support in the last six months. Um, and yeah, I just hope we can have a good day Saturday and I'll be going out there to do my best for the teams.